Okay, today's webinar we will be talking about using parentheses and saved selections for membership reports in version 20.17.2. This is on um, the membership 205 manual, if you are following along in the manuals that you can purchase from our website, and it's going to be pages 31 through 36. So let's go ahead and open up our membership module here and get started. So reports in membership can be accessed right here in the center of the screen. I'm going to grab my highlighter tool. And they can also be accessed up here at the top of the screen in Reports and Export. Um, the buttons will do the same thing in both places, so it's up to you. And this parentheses search criteria is going to be um, the same whether we're using reports, labels, or email. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out my highlighter, and I'm going to go into reports. So for this example, using parentheses, we're going to be looking for adults who are active in the church and who gave to our building fund. So a very specific criteria we want here. So the first thing we want is that active status. I can either scroll through the list here at the top and find my status code, or I can type in that box. So I scrolled, chose status, and I'm checking active. And I'm adding that to my selection. Now I want to indicate that people are not only active, but also adults. And there are a few different ways in the system that people can be marked as adults. So I'm going to use parentheses and build a more complex criteria. So the first thing I need is an and. So I'm saying their status is active and they need to be an adult. So in order for them to be an adult, they are going to need to be one of two things. So that's why we use an or. But in order for it to include both things, we need to put the or in parentheses. I think this will make a little bit more sense once I pull up my options here. So if I click that drop down again, the first thing I'm going to choose is age. And I'm going to say that age is greater than 18. Now, because not everyone has a birthday in the system, or not everyone has a birthday with a year attached, I'm going to need to add an additional way someone might be an adult. So their age could be greater than 18, or they could have what we call the family relation field of adult. And I'm going to add that selection. So I'm saying my status is active and the age is greater than 18 or they have a family relation of A. Then I can close my parentheses so that both of these possibilities are included with my status. So the next thing we want is only those who gave to the building fund. And all of that is going to be determined starting with the giving pledging tab where I can choose only those who did not, or sorry, only those who gave. Then in order to choose the account, I need to go to the accounts tab and I need to move my building fund to the selected accounts side of the screen on the right here. Finally, I can set my sort order. I can sort by name in a few different ways. I can sort by name using the family last name. If I have folks in my database who maybe have different last names from their family members, or I can just stick with my last first alphabetical. Now, if I want to be able to use this search setup again at a later date, which I probably do because it can be quite useful, I can come down here to the bottom 
to this saved selections area. And by clicking the little floppy disk button, it gives me a chance to add a name for my saved selection. So I'm going to say, hmm, active adults gave to build fund to give it a shorter name. And I'll click OK. Then when I click Next, it'll give me my few people who meet that very, very specific criteria. Now if I want to know what they gave, I can create a very simple and quick basic report. So you want to have the dot up here next to basic. And then you want to come over here and click New, because this template called Basic Columnar Report will include the name, the address, and the phone number. We don't want those things. We just want total given. So that's what I'm going to call this new report that I'm making in the report name. And I'll click OK. And after a moment or two, it'll bring up our column selector. And this column selector, like that accounts tab, has the items that will be included on the right and the available items on the left. And to get rid of these items I don't want, I can either double click or I can click on this left arrow key to move it over. Now what I do want to add from the left is total given. So as soon as I type the word total, I have all these choices. So I'm going to choose donations, total given, and I'm going to click OK. And that saves my new template, total given, and when I click print, It's going to bring up the total amount that these folks have given. And you can see that Bella and Steve Murray have a double asterisk. And if we come down here to the bottom, it lets us know that this information is being repeated. That's why they both have 25, because they both give together. So those asterisks mean that this isn't 50. You don't add the two together. It's showing that the family of Bella and Steve gave 25 collectively. And you also have a count right here in this bottom information in case you have a longer list. And it also spells out our search criteria down here in this information. So if we close out of this print preview, and we close out of this report, we could come over here to Labels, and we could grab our saved selection of active adults who gave to the building fund. And it brings up that criteria so that if I wanted to, I could print labels to perhaps thank these individuals for their gifts. And if I choose, you can see it's got all three of them listed right now. If I put the dot next to giving unit, when I click print, I will just get one label for Mr. and Mrs. Murray and one label for John McLean, who each gave. So I don't end up with separate labels for Mr. and Mrs. Murray, who gave together. A few final options on our reports if we choose this criteria from our saved selections and come back to step two is I could add family category codes, which would be V's for visitors and D's for donors. 
if those folks that I have here were in the visitor database, they would show a V next to their name by checking this box. Now in my search example, these folks are all members, but if I were to change the account to say the general fund, I can either choose to save my saved selection or not. In this case, I'm going to say no because I want to have that saved for future. I just want to look at something different right now. So now when I change it to the main giving fund, I have a longer list. And again, we have some of these asterisks for folks who gave together. Okay, that is all we have to cover for today's webinar on using parentheses and creating saved selections. I hope this helps clarify that um, somewhat more complicated um, search criteria that you may need to build. Thank you, and I hope this was useful for you.